I feel like this past season is just one of the coolest things, it's something I'm so, so proud of and proud of my entire team. Everybody who's worked with me since the beginning and especially now for making that a possibility. You have to look ahead and just prepare. I'm not trying to measure myself to what I was able to accomplish last year because every season's different and the other competitors are different too. Never a guaranteed win. So I'm always thinking like I have to be better because somebody out there is. The 2020 World Cup season is rapidly approaching and Michaela Schifrin focuses her efforts on maintaining peak performance in slalom. I know that my very best level of slalom skiing is the best in the world, but it takes a lot to do that. Slalom is so hard <laughs> and it takes so much to put that out there. Come on, Come on. Look at Schifrin here. Oh, this is turning into a masterclass. Absolute domination. It's all about Michaela Schifrin as it has been for quite a while. One word sums up Michaela Schifrin's results on the World Cup Tour in slalom, dominance. At just 24 years of age, she has racked up six World Cup globes in this discipline, four consecutive World Championship gold medals, and is an Olympic slalom champion. Furthermore, with 40 World Cup slalom victories, she is currently tied with the legendary Ingemar Stenmark for the record of most slalom wins of all time. Her success on the race course has led to much media attention and the handling of fame. Can I just go through some of your stats? Um, okay. Yeah, sorry. 17 World Cup victories, first ever athlete to win all six World Cup disciplines, first ever athlete to win four globes in overall, Super G, Giant Slalom, and Slalom. That's insane. Like everything. everything. I'm definitely learning to like the media side of things more. I see it as a job, but I enjoy it. For instance, the week in LA, that trip where I was able to present an award at the ESPYs and present an award at Kids' Choice Sports, and it is super fun. You know, I don't necessarily want to belong in that crowd. I just want to be able to like be me in that crowd and then come home and still be me. Mainstream sports all have great personalities within the sport. And I feel like skiing has amazing personalities as well. And of course in Europe, ski racing is huge. I look at that and I think I want to be a personality that people want to come watch because if I'm bringing people to the sport, they're being able to share in this passion that I have. The better you get, the more success you have, the more you have to do, because everybody wants a bit of the people who are at the top. The World Cup stop where Michaela receives the most attention is Killington, Vermont, where she is a local hero. Okay. I'm lucky to have lived in the East Coast. You know, I feel so much love from all of the fans and that makes me feel so much more confident, so much more comfortable and just at ease. This is the biggest World Cup on the tour. You don't find at a Women's World Cup more than this many enthusiastic, crazy, rabid fans. This is a big deal because you've got tons and tons of kids out here in this crowd. They look up on that hill, they see McKellen, and they say, I want to be that way someday. In 2016, Schifrin won the inaugural slalom competition in Killington. In 2017, she followed it up with an encore presentation. It's another homecoming for Michaela Schifrin and back-to-back -back wins in Killington. Since the World Cup Tour takes place almost entirely in Europe, this location provides a unique opportunity for Michaela. My Nana lives in Massachusetts. It was a two-hour drive from where we were staying in Killington, so I had Thanksgiving with my Nana. During the race season, I'm supposed to be working. Sometimes family comes to visit me, but otherwise, I don't get to do, like, Thanksgiving dinners, you know? Last season, Michaela was once again looking forward to racing in front of the hometown crowd. 
honestly, we're just out here trying to put on a show and racing in Killington, it's so easy to do that because people are bringing their own excitement too. It doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's snowing, if it's sleet, they're showing up and that makes it so much easier to have some fun with it. This time, it was fog that factored into the variables. The strongest skier down here at the bottom. Bring her home, she needs your energy. Make some noise. Unbelievable clean skiing. In the second run, Michaela entertained the audience with a nearly perfect performance. And once again, received a standing ovation in the finish. In first place, representing the United States of America, Michaela Schifrin! You guys, I could hear you from the start. <laughs> experience, so thank you. Reaching the pinnacle of ski racing is an incredible achievement. For Michaela, it has been the result of a lifetime of desire, discipline, and collaboration in the pursuit of excellence. There's a lot that impresses everyone about Michaela, but for me, having first met her at 11 years old when she came to my elite team camp, hardworking. She is practicing endlessly on this slalom course. You could just see that she would never give up. Her work ethic is what sets her apart, and you still see that today. Michaela will train 100% on every aspect of what she needs to do, and she won't let it go until she gets it. When I was young, I was like the most ambitious kid any, in any room at any given time. I'm still that way. Michaela has a team of coaches that provide support and guidance for her on and off the snow. You can't devalue the significance of effective minimum dose. What is the minimum that we can do to produce results like this? And that's a very delicate balance because if you don't do enough, then you don't get the results. But if you do too much, then you expose her to unnecessary risk and injury and everything else. So we're always kind of walking that fine line and just trying to find the sweet spot of success. But this particular day, the weight's not super high. So it's sort of like lower weight, higher reps, and minimal rest. It's a lot of work to stay up there, physically being ready to go and mentally being ready to go, and never take it for granted that the others aren't hunting you down and trying to chase you down. Last season, with a target on her back at every slalom competition, Schifrin rose to the occasion. In nine races, she amassed an incredible eight victories. Heading into the World Cup Finals in March, she already had the overall slalom title wrapped up, but that did not deter her from staying focused and aggressive. In the first run, Michaela threw caution to the wind, but finished in uncommon territory, second position, a quarter of a second behind the leader. Start of the second run, all I was thinking was push as hard as you can. Wendy was ahead of me, and I thought, I really don't know if I'm going to be winning this race today. I'm going to really have to risk everything. I had some mistakes, but it was aggressive skiing, and it was just a battle. In the end, Schifrin squeaked by with the win in less time than it takes to blink an eye. Seven hundredths is not a lot of time, but I was just maybe on the lucky side of the green light. So then I had number 40. On the Alpine World Cup circuit, most skiers never win a race in their entire career. Michaela Schifrin, on the other hand, has stood on the top step of the slalom podium a record 40 times and 60 times total. God, it's not easy to win races. You know, you, you have to have everything going right. You have to be prepared physically, mentally, and stay healthy. She is just an unbelievable racer. At only 24 years old, Michaela has already begun rewriting the record books, and her potential for additional success in the future is unprecedented. I often say that I'm just not concerned about the records at all. You know, as an athlete, you always want to leave a mark on your sport, so you don't necessarily want people to come breaking your records. But at the same time, that means the sport is moving forward, and above anything else, that's what I want for ski racing. But for next season, competition beware. Michaela Schifrin still has the character, drive, and distinction to be the best ski racer ever.
my goal is for next year probably going to be about the same. The real goal is just always pushing my level of skiing, pushing my limit. It doesn't matter how many globes or wins or whatever, it's just go for it.